Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here. Uh, today we're gonna be installing a Goose Gear rear seat platform for the JL two-door model. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so hopefully this will be informative and helpful to anybody who wants to do it in the future. Uh, as you can see here, so we've got it unpacked. As you can see, Goose Gear uh, really takes care of shipping. Everything is packaged really nicely, protected, everything like that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it unwrapped. We got the uh, wrapping off, as you can see here. This is a very, very simple install. There actually isn't even any instructions. Um, everything I've seen online just says basically take out the factory carpet. As you can see, I already got the seat removed. So it looks like we're gonna be taking out the top here. A couple bolts on this side that hold down brackets. We're gonna be taking out this portion of carpet as well. And that should be it. Should be a pretty simple install. This is for my dog Archer mainly. Uh, that's where he's going to be on road trips and stuff like that. And then uh, just to show you guys, there's a shot of the Jeep. All right, I'm going to set the camera up and we'll get started. All right, guys, first things first, you're going to pop open these little clips here with the flathead. And then it's a T40 Torx to unscrew these. Get them all loose and do the rest by hand. There's four of them total. entire panel. I was slightly off. You don't have to pull this front part of the carpet uh, that goes all the way under the seat. Not necessary. Just the jack cover and the cargo cover uh, piece of carpet. And one thing I just realized, I got off the phone with the Goose Gear. As you can see, there's tons of holes in this thing for different mounting applications. Uh, but right here, on the back side, there's a bracket that this little triangle piece goes into uh, and it was interfering with the rear seat hooks in the back. I found out that actually is, it came from, from them in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be up there. So I've already switched it over on this side. As you can see, it goes up top there and then I'll show you where the triangle piece goes. All right, so I've got it installed as you can see. That is the triangle piece, or as they call it, the doghouse. It comes with Allen keys, and on the other side, nuts that slide down into that channel there, lock it in place, and the tip goes towards the uh, towards the outside, which acts as a wedge because up here the floor is slightly slanted so they say that it helps keep it level. I have set it down in the Jeep. I just wanted to show you what I was talking about under here. Excuse the dog hair, but you can see how that wedge just sort of sits there and keeps the floor nice and even. There will be bolts going in here and on the other side, that's where the U-shaped hooks are for the back seat there. Uh, however, my hardware package was missing those. Not a big deal. Goose Gear said they're already going to go ahead and send those out. And then back here, once this is in place, 
you've got hardware that's going to go there, there, there and there to secure it down. All right, for this part, we've got a 5 mil Allen, four washers, four bolts. These are going to go down into the holes where you removed the cover earlier. So make sure that it's lined up. Get started. Wouldn't recommend tightening them down until they're all set. Grab the other washer. Started. Just want to get this in place before tightening. All right, next is gonna be the jack cover. It pops in there. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. And you can just sort of snap it down into place. It goes around the weather stripping. There are two bolts that bolt back into self-retaining nuts that are attached to the plate system already. Uh, these are going to be a different size. Let me go grab that. Alright, these are going to be 4 mil. And again, just tighten these down. There's no specs or anything. I'm just going hand tight. I don't want to overdo it and mess up any threads or anything like that. All right, so there's that. The last thing is the door. As you can see, the door comes pre-assembled. It's a lock and the retainer on there. Simply drop it in, lock it, and you are good to go. Unlock that, open it, and you can see you've got access to the full storage system down there, which I've already ordered the Mopar rubber mat just to, just to give it a nice surface in there. I plan on locking up my concealed carry firearm uh, when I can't take it into certain stores. I think that'll be the safest bet for it besides going with like an under seat lock system. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. So as you can see, Goose Gear system has been installed. Uh, shout out to them for making a great product. 
and being able to assist me with a few questions that I had pretty much right away. Archer, what do you think? Do you approve? Yeah, I think he approves. All right, until next time. Take care, guys.